everyone. Today, today, we're going to start stripping the van out. Let's take one last look at the van because this will be the last time we see it like this. I start by removing the fuse to the split charge relay, that way the main starter battery will be isolated from my leisure batteries. I just put the batteries on charge using this little pulse repair charger, hopefully that will keep them topped up while I'm doing the build. I'm just disconnecting the solar panels and just put them in a chockey block because they're the only part that's still alive. Not that they'll produce so much electricity today because there's no sunshine. And then I can rip out all these old electrics, get rid of these solar charge controllers. These are pulse width modulation one. Um, I'm going to be replacing it with an MPPT charge controller. It's much more efficient. I'm just going to go for one larger MPPT solar charge controller and maybe get another solar panel for the roof. I've currently got a one 100 watt solar panel up there and a couple of little ones. fittings that's no good and this is a uh, plumbing PTFE it's not for gas pipe Today's work. That's all we get for insulation, unfortunately. Two point five mil flex, one point five twenty mil. into another chalky block. How not to wire a van. <laughs> Surprisingly not too bad, there's a few holes here and there. I think that's the worst bit. That just needs a panel welded in and there. Uh, but it's good, you can see inside the chassis here and uh, I can see how well I've wax oiled it and really well, to be honest. It's covered in wax oil, which is good. 
There's a few holes here. And up here, maybe from an old diesel heater or something, I'm not too sure. But yeah, all in all, not too bad. Pleasantly surprised. I think this is just dirt more than anything. End of day two, we've got a bear van ready to treat the rust. Need to give it a good clean up tomorrow and then maybe I'll start welding it up. It works perfectly with these battens, these are uh, roof beams. These are 25 mil and I'm gonna be using 25 mil Celotex and hopefully I should be able to wedge it in the gaps. I'm gonna be moving this skylight forward to here because this is gonna be the shower right on the edge of this window here, um, just before the wheel arch. That's gonna be the shower room, fixed double bed at the back, seating area here with a lagoon table leg here. And then this will be the kitchen here, going halfway across the door. Um, and I'm not sure whether to put the sink by the door or the hob. Um, I like the idea of the hob because all the smells will go out the side door. But I also like the idea of the sink because you can swivel the tap round and that'll be like an outdoor shower, which is a nice idea. So I'm in two minds whether to put the gas there or there. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. For watching this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to give it a like and uh, if you could subscribe to the channel that would be great and if you click that little alarm bell you'll get notifications when i post new videos hopefully i'll see you in the next one where i'll be starting to patch this van up